In today's video, we'll take a look at a 2018 Ford EcoSport SE. This EcoSport is finished in the lightning blue exterior color. The vehicle does have smart key access and you lock the vehicle. As long as the key fob is on you, just put your hand behind the door handle and it automatically unlocks. On the driver's door panel, you have a storage area with a bottle holder, got all the power controls for your windows and mirrors, and your power door lock controls. The interior is finished in the medium light stone color scheme with cloth seat upholstery. The driver's seat does have partial power adjustments. And now let's go ahead and start her up. Along with smart key access, it does have push button ignition. Combining the maneuverability and efficiency of a subcompact car with the capabilities and high-riding feel of a crossover SUV, subcompact crossovers have exploded in popularity over the past several years, with models like the Jeep Renegade, Honda HRV, and Chevrolet Trax coming onto the scene and becoming quite successful. In recent years, more and more automakers have been coming out with their own subcompact crossovers to compete in this segment. In response to this rise of popularity, for 2018, Ford brought a subcompact crossover of their own into the mix for the U.S. market, that being none other than the Echo Sport. Unlike many of its competitors, which were introduced as entirely all-new models in the past five years or so, the Echo Sport has actually existed for quite a long time in other parts of the world, having been around since 2004 in various international markets. However, as mentioned before, it wasn't until the 2018 model year when Ford introduced it to the United States and Canada. As of the 2020 model year, the Echo Sport is in its second generation for the world and its first generation for the US. So obviously this 2018 we have here represents the Echo Sport's second generation. The second generation Echo Sport, which is based on the Ford Fiesta's platform, has been around since 2013 and it received a mid-cycle facelift for 2018, alongside its introduction to the U.S. market. Also, I've noticed a few of the vehicles in the subcompact crossover segment are a bit on the quirky side when it comes to styling cues and whatnot. In the Echo Sports case, it has a side hinge rear tailgate, with the release being integrated into the taillight. Trim levels for the 2018 Echo Sport include the base S, followed by SE as shown here, SES, and the range-topping Titanium. The 2018 Echo Sport has two available engines, depending on whether the car is front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive models, like we have here, are powered by a 123-horsepower, 1-liter, turbocharged inline 3-cylinder. On the other hand, Echo Sports equipped with Ford's intelligent 4-wheel drive are powered by a more potent 2-liter, naturally aspirated inline 4, making 166 horsepower. Every trim, except for the SES, can be had with either front-wheel drive or intelligent four-wheel drive, with the SES coming standard with the intelligent four-wheel drive. Competitors for the Echo Sport include other subcompact crossovers like the Chevrolet Trax, Honda HRV, Toyota CHR, 
Nissan Kicks, Mazda CX-3, Hyundai Kona, and the Jeep Renegade. In Ford's 2018 lineup of crossovers, the subcompact Echo Sport is slotted below the compact Escape, making it the smallest crossover that Ford offered for the 2018 model year. The gauge cluster includes the needles for your tachometer, speedometer, temperature gauge, and fuel gauge, as well as a digital information display. It has a four-spoke design, leather-wrapped, and multifunctional steering wheel. It has sport grips at 10 and 2. You got the controls for your information display in the gauge cluster right here, along with the controls for your cruise control. You've got your radio controls, which double up as your hands-free phone and voice commands. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. You have your exterior light controls, brightness adjustment. On this stock, you have your high beam and turn signal controls. And on this one, you've got your wiper controls. Going down the center of the interior, you have a speaker up top. The SE trim adds Ford's SYNC 3 touchscreen infotainment system. All your physical radio controls. Got a shortcut button for your sound settings. You have your air vents with your hazard light button. You got the controls for your single zone automatic climate control. Very simple with your fan speed temperature, power, front and rear defrost, air conditioning, max air conditioning, auto mode, recirculation, different zones, and then you've also got the controls for your three-stage heated front seats. You've got the button to toggle your auto start-stop feature so the engine will turn off if you come to a stop to save fuel, and your traction control. You have two USB ports, small storage area in front of the gear shifter. You have a power outlet, small storage area. You have two cup holders. The vehicle's parking brake is hand operated. Small storage right here and your center console. Small storage area above the glove box. Both of the sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights. Similar to what Hyundai's and Kia's have been doing where you close the visor and it automatically shuts the light off. Grab handle for the front passenger. As for your overhead console, you have your passenger airbag indicator, overhead lighting. You've got the simple power controls for your sunroof. You can also open it simply as a vent. And you have a sunglass holder. I like the simplicity of it. I like it more than the old My Ford Touch systems because you got all the 
basic functions all along the bottom here. So your audio, got your radio, very simply laid out, AM, FM, Sirius, or Bluetooth, different ways to listen to music. Compare a phone and your navigation. Here's your map. Pretty cool. Apps, of course, it's got serious travel link, so all your interesting information like movie listings, nearby fuel prices, weather, all that, if you have a subscription, and then all your settings. And you have your ambient lighting. And it does light out, so I can't really demonstrate it, but I do have a video of the same thing in a 2018 Ford F-250 Super Duty Platinum, the big lifted up, the big lifted SEMA truck. I do demonstrate this. Basically, it's the same thing in this one. Pick different colors for your ambient lighting. Pretty cool. And now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window. The driver's window is fully automatic. And we'll have a look under the hood. SC trim comes with these 16 inch 7 spoke shadow silver painted aluminum rims as standard. Powering the front wheel drive Echo Sport is the EcoBoost 1 liter dual overhead cam, 12 valve, turbocharged and intercooled inline 3 engine with direct injection. This engine puts out 123 horsepower at 6000 RPM and 125 pound feet of torque at 3500 RPM. The only available transmission is a 6 speed automatic with manual shiftability, and this Echo Sport is front wheel drive with Ford's intelligent four-wheel drive system being available. Running on regular unleaded with a 13.6 gallon fuel tank, the front-wheel drive Echo Sport achieves an estimated 27 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a torsion beam rear setup. It also has four-wheel disc brakes with the front ones being ventilated. This is only the second car with a three-cylinder engine on my channel after the 2008 Smart 4.2. Got the easy fuel capless fuel filling system. The fuel door is on the driver's side.
And on the rear door panel, you have a bottle holder. Little storage areas next to the rear seats. To aid in cargo space, the rear seats also fold down 60-40 split. Both front seats do have storage pockets on the backs. There's a power outlet like the kind you'd find in a house. Do have coat hooks back here. And you do have a folding rear center armrest with two cup holders. Single exhaust, rear wiper, and this rear tailgate is actually side hinged. So, right here, integrated into the tail light, is a touch pad, and it opens like that. Cargo volume in the Echo Sport is 20.9 cubic feet with the rear seats up and 50 cubic feet with them folded down. And that will conclude this tour of this 2018 Ford Ecosport SE. Thanks for watching.